Oh, okay then. Why don't we then? Why don't we get some gold on the screen? Who do we have? And I am a satisfied man. It doesn't take much to make Mortal happy. It doesn't take much at all. Just things like this. What is going on? It is go time. This is Mortal Mike, and this is yet another Watcher of Realms video. Today, our goal is the same goal as the goal before. That is to try to get a chance of getting another Cerberus or getting this new dude Trust, which I've been seeing some pretty good stuff about. I think he's pretty dope. I think it's pretty nice. Defenders that are coming into the game are getting really nice. I like that they're interesting. Not all of them are just, hey, do we have shields? Hey, do we have unyielding? I like the um, versatility that's coming into the game. So I wanted to take a shot to get them, but at the same time, I would love to get another Cerberus because that allows me to make my Cerberus A3 where his damage freaking does. So, I hope y'all been having an awesome day today. I went straight to the summon screen because I wanted to get straight into the summon. So without further ado, this might be a record on how fast I can get to the summons. Oh, another thing. Nope, nothing. Let's summon. <laughs> I don't want to be that guy to stall out because I was like, this is mainly what I came for because I have more videos to edit to sit to put out for you guys that I think you guys are going to really enjoy. And I will also say I am having a blast because Dragon's Dogma 2 has come out and I'm having fun playing that. So it's dope, it's dope. Mixed reviews online, I don't care. I love the first one and I'm enjoying the second one because it's just better graphics. Almost the same story though. So we're gonna get a couple of rebates here. Let's get four at least, one, two, three, four, five, six. Nice, and an Azim, good. I do wanna get those final rewards from the summon event that's going on right now as well. So let's see here, let's get some more going. Oh, okay then. Why don't we then? Why don't we get some gold on the screen? Who do we have? Let's see if it's Cerberus or Trust that comes through. Is it one of you two? <laughs> and I'm a satisfied man. <laughs> it doesn't take much to make Mortal happy. It doesn't take much at all. Just things like this. Just things like this. Uh, you guys already know what he does. If you don't know what he does, he makes a water decay when he summon. Actually, does a good amount of damage immediately when he summons his AoE. It's really nice. Water of decay is his main go-to thing. He can make up to two of them, and they do a whole bunch of damage in one particular area. Um, and if you manage to use his ultimate and he die while his ultimate's going off, it skyrockets the damage for like 20 seconds. So. Freaking insane, that did not take long. I don't even know, do I want to summon more? Cause that's pretty fresh out of, that's pretty fresh out of pity, right? Cause the last video, we pulled somebody around the same color, just not, not the same quality. <laughs> I'll keep pulling, I, you know what, should I? I don't know, I don't know. I know there's new banners that's coming out soon. I don't know. I know there's new banners and stuff that's gonna be coming out soon. I feel like this is a pretty nice stroke of luck. I'm not even gonna lie. That's a pretty epic win. That's 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 lovely. You know? let's, let's be clear. That's freaking lovely. Uh, but I would love a chance to get that trust. Yeah, it called me a little bit greedy here. I know. I know. I know the comments are like, bro, you got what you came for. I know. I Stop get it. it. But I didn't get, get what I want. <laughs> I did get what I want. Get what, am I doing? what am I doing? All right. Okay. I'm going to summon two more 10 pulls. First, they're going to be gems, and I'm going to re up and get the um, summons here from the bottom right. From the bottom right, and I'll do another 10. And that's it. 20 more and we're done. Let's go. Got us an epic. I still need a soul day to join the team or that new epic that's in the game right now that can help me with this um, summon event. I can use one of those two. Got tons of Livian, got tons of Novras. All right, here and our last 10 here. Okay, this is it. Get we're to help. Okay, the last 10 was attacks, which gives you my gems back. Not all of them. <laughs> But it gives me, let's see, give me like four. Just about four. One, two, three, four. Good. Five. Nice. Did this video need to take long? No, it didn't. It honestly did not. I hope you guys are getting good summons. Sometimes the videos need to be short and sweet because I came in and got what I came for. Now, I will say this too, in all honesty, it wasn't this weekend, but I've had three videos that I tried to edit and put up, but it's just so far past the time frame. I don't think it makes sense to put them out now. I've had three videos where I did not get really good pulls. They weren't a really heavy investment, like 30, 40 summons or so. Stop it. But 
I wanted to put that out there because yeah, I'm happy what I just got. I think that's freaking awesome, but it's not the norm. So I don't want you guys thinking that I'm just like the jackpot guy and I got this cursed account. No, 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 no. Talk about Boy Fastidious about that. He knows a guy that has an account that pulls rares like, uh, pulls Legos like every 40 summons. It is nutso. Like, I mean, really mean, it's freaking nutso. Um, but I hope you guys are having an amazing time. I've got some dope, dope news I just got recently. I'll share it once it's a good time to share it. Um, but it involves the content in the game, watch it around, and I think you guys are gonna really like it. You're gonna be surprised when you see it. It's gonna be pretty fire. But um, until then, this has been your boy Mortal Mike. Let me know who you pull in the comment section. Yes, I'm making a short video today because we want to have a good time. And apparently I will because now my service is going to... Oh, well, I'll, I'll tap that. I'll tap that just because we're here. We're here, right? I'll do that. For anybody who didn't see the other video while I was talking about this, right here. When HP drops below... Let's full screen that for you, right? When HP drops below 50% doubles the damage dealt by the ground area effect per second. Doubles it. So I'm not sure if that's total. I'm not sure if that's every individual. I want to say it's just going to be total. But... That's freaking nuts though, but he has a drop below. Okay, well you better have an extra phrase. Okay, nice server, it's dope. But I want to see how long I can sustain this damage. That's a heck of a damage boost. Problem is it's hard to keep servers alive. You can use um, the artifact that I commonly use on him, which is Lunacy Visor. Lunacy Visor is probably the most common way to keep servers alive. So it's a couple ways. First way that I know of is Lunacy Visor. So as he gets hit, as he gets attacked, he can hit up the three targets. Um, he can hit any, as many targets as he wants, but three targets are credit to him getting 0.9% of his health back per hit right now. If I'm not mistaken, that goes up to uh, 1.2 when it's fully maxed, which is not bad. It's actually pretty good. For Cerberus, that's really good. It's really useful. A5 is even better um, because he loses less health. So he stays in the field longer. It's really cool. It really changes the gameplay. That's the first way. Um, the second one is actually through the promotional raid. I think it's promotional raid of melee attack um, where they auto heal throughout the battles. So I don't really count that as a self heal. It's kind of the arena that he's in. And the third way is actually through the legendary healer. Legendary healer Sadie, who I do not have yet. Sadie's ultimate um, has a chance of doing the, uh, has a chance of healing them for eight seconds after the ult, which is not bad. Uh, and then when she goes A1, it just does both these abilities, if I'm not mistaken. Let me double check just to make sure. Yes, both buffs simultaneously. It's still really limited. If I'm not mistaken, I don't think he could be revived. At least his kit doesn't say he can be revived. Sure, I've never seen him be revived, but I've heard a rumor that Valkyra can revive Aatrox. I've never seen it. I've never seen it, but it's worth putting out that. Oh, and speaking, I got something to say here. I think y'all are gonna like this. So, um, one of the folks that are making content online, I can't remember which name it was. I I think it was Shamir's Chosen. I believe it was Shamir's Chosen. He showed some content yesterday. I just found, I happened to see it yesterday. And he got the inside scoop on Pelagios, which is going to be the new Immortal Codex boss is going to be coming. And Pelagios is going to be focused around these guys. They're finally going to get a chance. The Marksman. It's going to be focused around Marksman. and involves him using Tridents that do um that if you don't destroy them in time he absorbs them and does more damage um but it's like an outer ring of enemies then an inner ring of enemies and then the tridents so you have to destroy these things and they made it to where mages won't do very well here because each time he puts out more stuff the magic resistance goes up so it makes it harder for mages to continuously do damage in the content now that being said the only circumvent that i see where that could be, um, only chance I see that could be circumvented is actually Ajax. Now that doesn't make it completely circumventable because it's still going to happen, but mainly because of, which one is it? This one right here, where he can get up to 30%, he can get up to 30% magic resistance reduction, which may give him a chance to still do damage. Um, honestly, it will make all the mages available to do damage, which is interesting, very interesting, but I don't think it's gonna compare, compare to what marksman will be able to do here so it's an alternative strategy that might hold some weight we don't know yet i don't think 30 percent is enough to make this a cakewalk but i'd be interested to see and also i just really want i really want to get it's just, just while we're on the subject i want to get ajax's exclusive artifact which I, i'm gonna say honestly 
This may be a hot take because I've only tried a few, but I've seen this one work. I think Ajax may have the best exclusive artifact in the game. He may have the best one. Um, and yeah, I'm going on a bit of a tangent here because this is the conversations that we have. New content's coming to Immortal Codex. You guys know how I feel about IC. That's my main thing that I enjoy in this game. I'll show it just so you guys see it and then I'll wrap up the video. I almost accidentally did more summons. Stop it. And it's actually not as hard to get as I thought he was. All right, Dragon's Bane, during the effect of Destructive Breath, which is ultimate, increases attack by 15% and the effect duration by five seconds. What is the effect duration? The effect duration is the whole freaking ultimate. He doubles the duration of his ultimate. He does 100% more damage. <laughs> now that's a lot of damage. He fires twice as long. And if you have not seen Ajax's ultimate, it is actually very, very strong damage. And I have him here, just so you guys can see it. So right now I have him at 160, he's gonna to go to 180, and the cost is gonna go down to 800, which is pretty good, which is fairly good. Um, he deals 180% AOE damage per second, four or five seconds, and inflicts burning. So the burn is gonna be another 20% of continuous magic damage that's dealt as well. So it is actually a lot of damage. He can clean the entire section in gear rate one, um, I've seen him, thanks to my boy Tori Dactyl, I have seen him solo damage. I say solo damage because um, I think Lassier was still involved because anti-heal is still kind of needed for it to happen. But in terms of damage, he's solo damage gear rate 121. That's freaking nuts though. But he needs the exclusive artifact for that to happen. Or you have half an ultimate, which means he does way less damage. Um, his regular attacks aren't that amazing. I will say I love his lightning attacks. Those things are nice. Those things are actually very, very useful. It slows the targets down. It hits a whole bunch of them and it does a lot of damage. Uh, and it flicks slow for, I think it was like two seconds? Five seconds slow. And it could do up to 200% AOE damage, which is freaking nice. It's nice. But this isn't a conversation about Ajax. It became one. This is a conversation about doing a few pulls and pull servers. Now I ended up talking about what's the update that's coming. I don't know if I showed who the guy was, so I could do it last but not least. Oh, um, he is a mage. He's not a marksman, is he? He's a mage. He is a marksman. I thought he was a mage for the longest. Get some help. Pelagios is going to be the boss. If I didn't just say it earlier, I may have said it and just talked in a circle. Pelagios is going to be the next Immortal Codex boss um, that's going to be introduced to the game that I know so far. He's the new, newest one that's been revealed in the content in the game. It was like a book that opened that showed the stuff. So that was a new way that they're showing Immortal Codex. You can look at all the different bosses that are in Immortal Codex without having to click the banner in the top right corner or go into events and then scroll and then click it. It's a much easier way to get into a Mortal Codex. And I think it's coming within the next like week and a half. So get ready. He's gonna make it a marksman event. So get your marksman ready. Go ahead and get your attack bonus and your crit damage and your crit rate going. I know that you get heals and you get rage regen as you destroy some of the um, things that are outside of Pelagio. So that's something to be mindful of. I don't know if damage is the issue or hitting target is gonna be the issue. Or if you need speed, which puts Tazira back in the conversation. Um, so it may be a mixed bag. We don't know yet, but I'm so ready to play it. I'm so ready. This has been your boy Mortar Mike. It's been a lengthier video than it should have been. I should have gotten to the point. I think I did pretty soon. And I think you guys enjoyed the other stuff I put in the video because I enjoy making content for you guys. Let me know in the comment, what are you, what champions do you um, look forward to using against Pelagios? Um, also, let me know what you guys pulled this weekend. I want to know those two things. Shoot out a message in the comments. I make sure that one of the previous videos I said I was going to respond in the comments. Every comment that came, I responded. So I want to do the same thing for this one as well. You guys have an amazing freaking weekend. This is Mortal Might. It's go time, but now it's time to go. Take care. Peace.